English to go, the past simple versus the present perfect. Hello and welcome to another episode in the English to go series from the Virtual Language School. My name is Daniel. And I'm Emily. Today we would like to make a comparison of the tenses we looked at in our last two episodes, the past simple and the present perfect. As we've already discussed, the past simple is used to talk about an action in the past. It is used for finished time, while the present perfect is used to talk about unfinished time. This means an action, situation or period of time in the past that leads up to, or is in some way connected with, the present. We also use the present perfect to refer to things in the recent past. These two tenses are often confused by learners of English. Hopefully this will not be the case for you by the end of this episode. Let's take a look at these two incomplete sentences. How do you think they should be completed using the words in brackets? The correct answer for sentence 1 is She went to New York in 1999. The answer to sentence 2 is He has been to New York twice. He has been to New York twice is an example of the present perfect. In this sentence, we're talking about what someone has done in their life up to now. Sentence 1, by contrast, refers to 1999, which is past and is now over. In sentence 1, we are talking about finished time. This is clear because of the time marker 1999. A time marker can be anything that specifies exactly when you're talking about. Examples of time markers which refer to the past are Yesterday last week, last year, two weeks ago, or any other point in time which is now over. Now try these two incomplete sentences. How do you think they should be completed using the verbs in brackets? The answer to sentence 3 is John has been a builder since 2002. This, again, is the present perfect. We are talking here about a situation which began in the past but leads up to the present. John is still a builder today and will possibly continue to be tomorrow and the next day and so on. Sentence 4 is Before that he was a bus driver. The past simple. Here we are talking about John's career situation in the past before 2002. This is finished time. Now take a look at these incomplete sentences. Should they be in the past simple or the present perfect? The period of time being spoken about in sentence 1, this year, is still ongoing, so in this case we would use the present perfect. How many products has the company sold this year? Sentence 2 refers to last year, which is finished time. For this reason, we would use the past simple here. How many products did the company sell last year? Now have a think about the following. A man walks into his office on a Monday morning and, as he bumps into a colleague in the coffee room, he asks him the following question. So, what have you done at the weekend? What do you think? Is this question phrased correctly? No, it isn't. In this story, it is now Monday morning, and the weekend, unfortunately, is over. It is finished time, which means the question should be phrased in the past simple. The man, however, has mistakenly asked, what have you done, which is the present perfect. What do you think would be the right way to ask this question then? So, what did you do at the weekend? Now listen to the following dialogue for some more examples of both tenses. Hello Daniel, you look very brown. Have you been on holiday? Yes, I was in Spain. I came back late last night. Oh great, did you have a good time? I did thanks. Spain is a lovely place. So I've heard, but I've never been there before. Students learning these tenses often ask questions about doubts they have which run something like the following. 
Why is it correct for two people sitting in a classroom in London, for example, to ask each other a question such as, have you ever been to New York? When it is clear that the person we are speaking to is no longer there. They are sitting in London. Even if they have been to New York, any such trip must now be over. The answer to this is that the question asks about the other person's life up to now, which is not over. If it was, you probably wouldn't be talking to them. We do not know when, if ever, the person we are talking to has been to New York. We are not asking them about a specific time in their life, but rather about their life in general, which began in the past and leads up to the present. Classic present perfect. We can sometimes illustrate different tenses using timelines, which might look something like this. The vertical line in the middle represents the present, so to the left we have the past and to the right we have the future. On a timeline, the present perfect would look something like this. Notice how the period of time under discussion begins in the past and leads up to the present. The past simple, on the other hand, would look something like this. Notice here how the time we are talking about begins and ends in the past. It is now over and does not lead up to the present. Well, we hope the differences between these two tenses are now clear. Before we say goodbye for today, we'd just like to point you to the Learning Library section of our website at www.virtuallanguageschool.com. There you will find free learning materials to aid you in your language studies. We update this learning library all the time. One good way to find out whenever new material is added is by following us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash VLS underscore feed. If you would like to take live online classes with a member of our team, just send us an email to info at virtuallanguageschool.com. So see you next time. Bye. Bye.